Boy, oh boy, what a day it's been, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a nice day out there. Welcome back to the show. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a ranking guide for, for Mephisto. Yes, I went ahead and I, I, I did my best. I did my absolute best putting together a, a ranking guide for you guys. And I have to say, it's never been so difficult as, as it is now. There's so many things you need to take into consideration and um, to touch on that real quick. So like, you know, if you have Pearson cards or if you don't have Pearson cards and then, you know, what CTP you have on that particular character, because if you say, say you have a, a decent amount of Pierce and you have Rage on a character, um, they're not going to perform as well as if they would have, I don't know, an energy or judgment if they could even work with either of the two. So like somebody like Odin, because he can only work with Rage, and if you have if you have Pierce on cards, um, he, 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 you know, his damage output just isn't going to be as good otherwise, like if you didn't have any Pierce. Um, so you got to take that into consideration. Also, stage requirements. Now for both Null and Mephisto. So even just from that, um, it, it, it's grown more difficult to put, you know, some of these lists together because depending on, you know, if you're pushing World Boss Legend, you know, Mephisto in particular, um, like if you're past stage 10 or 15 or, you know, if you're at 20, whatever, um, then some characters are going to have more value for you th than, than others. Like, like Moonstone, for instance, you, you can't use her until stage 40. Well, obviously one through nine, you could use everybody, but you can't use her again and still take, and, and still you know until stage 40 so if you've if you've kind of graduated past playing stage past stage nine moon you're not going to use moonstone you're just not um and to be quite honest uh truth be told i haven't used moonstone once for mephisto not once i've never brought her in um so you got to take that into consideration and now um what mephisto uh, you know he's different from Null because he actually has a he has a type well he he's blast Null has a type Null's universal but you know universal is universal right um and blast has a type advantage and a disadvantage so speed characters typically are going to perform better and then combat characters like like moon moon knight is you know he, he's kind of at a disadvantage right so um, I did my absolute best with, with this list. I even took a bunch of characters in and I, I was trying to compare them like side by side. Um, I took a lot of factors into consideration like damage, damage output of, of course, survivability, um, the, the stages that you can actually use them on. Like some characters you can use, you know, uh, um, you know, for more stages than, than others. Like, um, I don't know, take, take Sentry for example. So, so Sentry... Let me get my little list here. So Sentry, um, you could use him from 1 to 25, and then again from 35 to 39. So I'm I'm actually I'm at um, I'm at 40 right now. I haven't unlocked I haven't I actually haven't played my world boss today, not yet, and um, I haven't unlocked 40 yet. I'm I'm debating if I want to unlock that today, just to just pay the crystals and, and continue pushing forward, or if I want to complete some of the challenges before I actually do that because. Um, that we don't have the 50% off anymore. Uh, I believe all the other requirements that I unlocked, I, I believe, I'm pretty sure they, they all were 50% um, off. And, and that's one of the reasons why I did it. Plus, I, you know, it's just a game mode that I, that I actually enjoy playing now that I like to push. Um, but so, um, and Sharon Rogers, like you could use her from 1 to, one to 14. Obviously, every character, you know, up to 9. Um, and then again from 20 to 25 and then again from 30 to 39 so you could use her a wide you could use her a lot a lot she, she actually um, just can't use her um, well 25 to 30 well 25 to 29 is combat and then uh, 15 to, to 19 is, are, is all male so I, I've taken all these things in, in into consideration to put this list together and then, you know, just through my own experience, my own experience playing these characters and, and how well they, they, they perform for me and just how valuable they've actually been. So um, let's jump into this list. And, and I know, I know some people are probably going to disagree with me, but this, this is just my own opinion. And um, also... Um, actually, I'll mention it once, um, once, once I'm, once I'm done with this list, because I, because I have a, I have a challenge for you guys out there. 
So let's uh, let's jump into it. All right, and here we go, guys. Okay, so you know what? I'm, I'm going to mention the challenge now. The challenge I have for you is it's actually the same challenge that I, I gave you for, for Null. And the challenge was I want to know what stages you're, you're playing, what stages you're clearing, right? If you're clearing, I don't know, even if you're just clearing once a day, stage one, I want to know what stage you're clearing, uh, what teams you're using, and how much pierce you have on cards. Um, and then this way, I can I can gather data and I can put together a mo a more you know cohesive list. Because if you remember, if you recall, I did uh, I did, I I made basically my null list, and then I made the list for you know basically all the other players, players that may not have a whole lot of pierce on cards. So this way, um, you know, we can get accurate information and data to anybody else out there who's you know who's considering all this stuff. Um, I'll, I'll do all, I'll do all the leg work, you know, I'll pull all the numbers and all that and, uh, and all the characters and, and figure that all out. Okay. So one person that you're not going to see on this list is Moonstone. Now I did not put Moonstone on this list purposely because, um, I think everybody knows kind of where her value is. Everybody knows what value, you know, she brings to their account and everybody, if they don't have her, they're they're going to get her anyways right it's like everybody if they don't have them you know if they don't have her you're saving up the crystals to get her like that that's that's the thing that you're doing just because she has so much value for pve and like i mentioned i haven't used her once because of the the requirements you can't use her until stage 40. so once i unlock 40 and i can use her i'll be able to accurately put her put her in here because the thing is this the a character can have insane damage but and if their survivability is terrible and they keep dying, then they're really no good. They're really no good. Um, so, excuse me. Um, so this list, this list is just um, in the making. There's more, um, there, there's going to be more uh, 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 rows or, or columns that I'm going to be putting in here. Like, as you can see, I have survivability. I have movement speed here. Um, and then the stage requirements that, that they're actually available for. Um, so, uh, other things I'll probably put in here are like, are like lead, uh, support, stuff like that. None of these characters actually offer support, but a few do offer a pretty good lead. And we're going to talk about that. A lead that you might not actually suspect being very good. Um, like somebody like Ghost Rider, his lead is, is absolutely amazing. Um, so he offers, uh, let's see, let me, let me, let me, let me get this out of the way here. So Ghost Rider's lead, right? Um, was never good, was never good for anything in the game, right? You would like, you would never use this lead for anything. Um, it's fire resist by 50%. And you know, most of the time it, it's thing is with Mephisto, it, it's, it's about, it's a, it's a battle of survivability. Obviously you need to deal enough damage, but, um, most of the battle is just, is just staying alive, especially during the second phase, because a lot of his attacks during the second phase, they just, they pierce everything. They, they pierce iframe, they pierce any protection you have, any immunity, invincibility, just just everything. And, and, and depending on how high of a stage you're playing, one second you're there and the next you're just poof, gone. So let's jump into this. Um, okay, so Bullseye and Moon Knight. Um, so there's actually 11 characters on this list. Okay, not including Moonstone. You're gonna have to make that 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 decision for yourself on Moonstone. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch that because um, I honestly don't know where to put her on this list quite yet. Um, I will soon. I will soon enough. But Bullseye and Moon Knight are at the bottom, and I'll explain why. Okay, so Moon Knight. So I I, I could flip flop these guys, and I, I I put Bullseye above Moon Knight basically for you guys out there because. Um, I have to imagine that most players aren't playing like as you could see he's he's available while well, he's available from 25 to 29 and he's actually the only character on this list that actually is available for those stages um, because he's combat it's, it's combat from 25 to 29 and Moon Knight was was the character that carried me from 25 to, to 29. Um, mainly because he can take advantage of Crescent lead and then Valkyrie was there for the support as well so he he carried me there. Um, he has amazing survivability. As you can see, I put up, okay, so let me explain the survivability and the movement speed. It's on a scale from one to five, one, one being terrible and five being absolutely amazing. Um, and same with movement, movement speed, one to five. Um, and, uh, Moon Knight survivability is absolutely amazing just because he has that crazy heal on his fifth. Um, and it's like, I don't know, I, I would never really find myself dying too often, um, with him at all. 
Um, so very easy to play, right? His rotation is very simple, very easy to play. Well, at least at least for me it is. Um, and his movement speed is is excellent too. And, and you wouldn't think how important movement speed would actually be, but it's very important for, for Mephisto. Like somebody like Ghost Rider, right? You see, I have a, I have a one. I have a one next to his uh, his movement speed here. Let me. Uh, so I have a one on his movement speed. He's just so slow. He's he's god awful slow. I mean, man. He, and trying to c collect the spell disc with Ghost Rider is not a thing that you want to be doing. You don't want to be like I don't know. I can't tell you how many times I've I've gotten caught up with Ghost Rider trying to run around, getting away from Mephisto, and it's like it's like a race you're not gonna win. Um. So. Uh, Moon, Moon Knight's coming in. He's good. The thing is, if if, if there wasn't the, the 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 type advantage or disadvantage, like I don't know, maybe maybe they'll come out with a lead that uh, nullifies the type advantage or disadvantage. I hope that they do. Um, okay, so next up, uh, Bullseye. Bullseye is actually very good. He's he's not bad at all. He's speed, which gives him an advantage. If if Okay, say he say Mephisto was universal, he probably wouldn't be where, where he's at, but because he's speed, I have a Bullseye built pretty well, um, but thing is this, I have a Rage on Bullseye, so um, he's kind of playing at a disadvantage um, considering that, um, but Bullseye's worth will be popping him in, um, hitting his Awaken rotation, right, because you start with 6, 6, 3, 4, 5, 2, 1, and, and, then, and then popping him out. And um, so he's a, he's a very good uh, character to be swapping in and out. And, well, that, and that goes for any any awakened character. But uh, Moon Knight seemed seemed to do uh, very well in terms of just being able to solo for me. Um, okay, so next up we have uh, Ghost Rider. Okay, so as I mentioned, Ghost Riders um, part of Ghost Rider's real value is actually his lead. Um, now, if you watch my stage 37 clear. I cleared it with uh, I cleared it with Captain Marvel, and one of the reasons why I was trying to clear with Captain Marvel is because um, it was going to add to my overall score of, of the match of clearing the match because it takes growth growth score into account, and she is one of the characters that I have the highest highest growth growth score that actually has the leadership tag, and she get, offers a 30% um, attack. But Ghost Rider, his lead, you know, it offers that that fire resist. And it's it, it honestly so stage 37. I, I mentioned that video. It was so hard for me to clear. Like it took it took me forever to do it. Stage 38 and 39. I used Ghost Rider's lead, and it took me a fraction of the time to actually do it. I did not have a, as much trouble staying alive at all. Um, I think even then I started getting even even careless, like not even paying attention too much because um, I was just I was able to stay alive through and through. And um, so if you're not using his lead, well, if, if you're having a hard time staying alive, um, throw Ghost Rider in the lead and and you won't have that trouble anymore. Well, it's just your neighborhood friendly sneaky bandit coming at you once again, friend. Uh, and we have more chests here. No Icarus boxes now. No Icarus bo boxes anymore. We, we got all those. We got every single one of them. Shadowland chest. Um, to give you guys insight in case you want to use every single one of your characters to push Shadowland. I mean, so far, no good. So far, okay, five-star card. I feel like I get, you know, at least a couple five-star cards, but, I mean, is it worth it? Because, it like, it, it takes me forever. Like, it, it does. It, it takes a while to actually do that. I mean, really, nothing. No, what, just one five-star card so far. And then, you know, some some obelisks. Of course, HP. I'm cursed. I'm, eight, I'm cursed on the HP, I'm telling you. Purple aging kit. Another five-star, yeah. Told you, got a five star. Another one, but that that might have. Oh, it's from the dimension, dimension chest. Yeah, we're just we're getting, we're getting bamboozled, guys. Nothing good. Maybe, maybe all we uh, we used up all our luck um, for for the last one. I mean, hidden tickets aren't too bad, right? So I mean, you, you get a good amount of hidden tickets, you know, if you need those. But man, I really wish this was not HP. I'm just, I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to go and switch um, Ice Await sets to, to Hawk's Eye. I plan on doing that already, so you know uh, maybe I have enough to, to you know I can actually use them all up. There's enough characters I actually want to do that with. Okay, Sneaky Bandit out. Peace. Enjoy your broadcast.
But for me, because go, I, I have a rage on Ghost Rider because you know I use him for ABX. Um, I'm tempted to throw a judgment on him and, and do like a, a real comparison with other characters that I have either judgment or, or energy on because I, I would imagine that his value will increase. But for me, his survivability isn't like okay. His survivability is is okay only because only because he um, he has fire immunity. He has fire immunity built in and um so he's able to stay alive um you know a bit more just because of that but he doesn't have a heal right and he's so slow being so slow puts him at, at a disadvantage so for me that's why he he is this far down on the list otherwise like i don't know say say he had amazing movement speed and he had you know a, a heal he, he would be a bit higher but um, but he doesn't have that hard of a time staying alive just because of the fire immunity. If he didn't have that, he'd be he'd be toast. All right. So next up, I have I have Odin at number. Uh, so this is actually I, sh I should number this differently. So so it's 11, 10, 9, 8. So Odin is is actually number eight. Let me pull this guy up here. So Odin, another character that I have rage on. He can't work with anything else. Um, he's kind of playing at a, at a disadvantage. So if you don't have any Pierce on cards. Um, he might do a bit better for you than, than he is on my account. Um, but just because of that, um, he, I mean, he, he has, um, he has, you know, decent survivability. Um, the thing is like, you know, his rotation, you know, the, the way it is, he's kind of in the same spot, right? He's in the same spot on his rotation. And I feel like you can kind of get caught in Mephisto's, you know, in Mephisto's traps, right? His, uh, his stun machine and all that. Um, so for me, I, I kind of had a difficult time, you know, just really staying alive with them and, and, and putting out the damage. Um, but Odin, he's not bad. He's very good. As we all know, he's very good for pretty much all PVE game modes. Um, so he's not a bad choice either. All right. And then right above him, I have, I have Gambit, Mr. Gambit here. So let me pull this guy up. So Gambit is very good because he has very good he has very fast movement speed right so as you can see i put him at a four five gambit i think gambit's like he's like almost as fast as Sentry. he's 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 unbelievably fast um and which which movement speed is like op for mephisto um and uh on top of it where is he yeah and i have his survivability at, at a four um, and on top of it, you know, he's got, he's got the 15% heal on his, on his fifth skill. Every time you pop that, he gets a 15% heal. Um, and he can attack from a distance. So even while Mephisto is in his stun machine, right? He's got, he's got that circle around him. You all know what I'm talking about. Um, you can still attack with Gambit. You could still hit his fifth skill and, and attack with Gambit. So he's got some, he's got some versatility to him. Um, and he just, and he does really good damage. He's, he's pretty insane. Okay. Now I have Beta Ray Bill ahead of him okay and i have beta ray bill ahead of him just because okay one of the reasons is because he's available for more stages i could use him for that that you could use him for leadership which is 35 to 39 um also because he has he has his own lead right so he can buff himself and you know you could use him with thor thor is actually not not bad either um and uh he's got some, beta ray bill's got some pretty you know he's got some fast movement speed not as fast as gambit um, I don't know, you know, I feel like these two could probably be swapped around, um, but Beta Ray Bill, you know, with his Awaken, you know, rotation and skill, if you're using his own lead, he does, he does some pretty, uh, insane damage. Um, and, and then, and then even on that next 5-3-4, because the accumulation is up, and, you know, he just has more buffs going, um, he does some pretty good damage on that. So if you're using him, do his Awaken, and then do the very next rotation after that, and and then watch the bars fly and he, he also has some good survivability as well um you know he he's like constantly you know in an iframe he's got he's got a lot of protection plus he has that he's got that that heal oh my goodness what a knucklehead that sneaky bandit is he almost forgot the gold chest too let's go ahead let's knock this out a four a four z a three z we want the fives and the sixes oh fiver what we like to see yeah 20 ccf can <laughs> can shake a stick at that and then you know 50 uh tier 2 materials isn't bad either a uh, 4 
20 CCF again. I mean, thing is, CCF is just, it's not as, it's not as rare anymore, right? Since, since the inception of, of World Boss Legend, um, CCF just isn't as, it's not as sought after. It's good that they give it to us. Okay, I didn't really get anything that good out of there. I got one fiver, 40 CCF. That's about it. Yeah, so once he drops below 45% um, health, um, he gets he, he get he gets that heal. He he heals up. All right, next up, who do we got? Who do we got? Um, okay, and above him I put Null. Okay, some people might argue that Null should be higher on this list um, for me because he's not available for a whole lot of stages. After 19, he's not available again until so let's see 44 uh, until. I think 45 he won't be available again until 45 um so that that that's just me and you know i have a rage on him i have a rage on null so he just he just he doesn't perform as well as as other characters now okay you you could put an energy on him right but i don't know the thing is this like the way you play mephisto it's like you're constantly you know you're like hitting him and then you're pulling away and I don't, for some reason, like I just can't see an energy really working all that well against Mephisto on him. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but you know, you, you sit in the two, right? You sit in the two, and after how many seconds, right? Because on his fifth, you get invincibility for six seconds. After you hit the, after six seconds, um, you know, you're kind of, you're kind of left there without protection for a certain amount of time. If you're, if you're doing the, you know, the four, five, two, um, over and over again you're left there without protection so um when i when i play with null against mephisto what i what i do is i end up like hitting the tier three as soon as it's up i hit it as soon as it's up because it just seems to work out better that way actually try it if you're not doing it that way and if you have a rage on them um just just basically you just kind of keep pummeling them with with, with hits and, and with skills but yeah hit the tier three as soon as it's up and i found that um that just it just works out to do more damage overall um but no survivability is is excellent you see i have a, I have a five for survivability you know he's just he's able to withstand just like you know um of getting like debuffed and and you know there's just something something about him and sentry where like other characters they'll they'll they're more prone to get stuck in his stun machine and no and sentry seems like they they could they could just breeze right out of it um and you know he's got the crazy he's got that heal on his fifth he's got the he's got the passive where he heals up to uh you know where you know for six seconds um you know he removes all debuffs um plus you know he, he gets he gets a heal we all know what his passive is I don't, I don't need to explain it so that's why he's coming in at so that would be number number five he's coming in at number five for me but he's very good he's he's very good don't get me wrong Okay, and right above him, I have Cable. I have Mr. Cable here. So, Cable would actually be higher on this list be, just because of his damage output, right? Um, especially with this uniform here, right? You do the, you do, you know, his rotation, you, and you, you sit in this fifth skill, and you just, you just keep hitting him with hits. But for where Cable really struggles is Mephisto's second phase. It's like I can't even attack during his second phase, like especially. Um, you know, if you watch the Sage 37 clear video, I explained that I, I, I really couldn't even attack and you saw me, I didn't really attack. You only can attack when he's like frozen, when Dr. Strange comes out and like freezes him because all of Mephisto's attacks, they just like, they tend, they just tend to knock him out very, very quickly. Um, and that goes for, you know, it doesn't matter what uniform he has, even, even this one here, even in his fifth, right? It's that full eye frame. It just, it pierces that and, and Cable just, he's just done. He's like, he's wiped out. But on his third phase, um, Cable is an absolute boss. Uh, he's just he's he's excellent for that phase um, because at a certain point you just right you, you continuously run around collect the spell disc and you know you just you have a small window to attack and Cable is just excellent for that um, like diff, different um, like different from Sharon Rogers because like you need to accumulate damage on her on her regular rotation so it's like you need her tier three up in order to actually be effective during that it's possible and it, and it works and i've done it like that but um cable is just better for the third but for the second phase no no sir so if you're clearing out like a high stage for you 
and you, you know you have a problem with survivability um, I could see you struggling if you're trying to solo with cable during that second phase for sure but he's excellent though his damage is absolutely insane for Mephisto all right and then uh, above him I have rogue so I I know some people might disagree with my list but you know this is my list so <laughs> uh, rogue I have rogue ahead of him because um, oh and by the way Cable's movement speed is actually really fast as well. Where do I have him at? I have him at a solid four. Um, and like I said, you know, movement speed is very important, but I have a survivability at a two. And it's only because of that second phase. If not for that, his survivability would, would go up. Um, okay, now Rogue, I have her survivability at a five. Yeah, Rogue is just amazing for Mephisto. She is so good for Mephisto. Her movement speed is actually on point. I mean, a three, three, 3-4 movement speed is actually is actually pretty good. She's not like super duper fast, but she's definitely fast enough, uh, 100%. And, you know, like I said, not to mention her survivability, right? She She's just, you know, she's just very, very good for, for Mephisto and her damage is, is excellent. I mean, I, I have her built pretty well. She's missing all but one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, she's missed. She has 14 Odin's Blessings. So she could definitely be built a little bit further. She has stage 11. And then she, she has a judgment that isn't even all rolled all that well. I actually pulled the one I had on her previously to give to Apocalypse um, just because of the ABX thing. Um, so I might even swap that for something better just because she's she's that she's that good. Um, yeah, and at the moment, um, the stages that I'm playing, she's actually soloing. I, I can solo uh, a stage from 30 to 34 with her. Um, typically, I'll do like 30, uh, like 30, 31, or 32, um, you know, just, just to make it a little bit easier. But she's soloing it. Okay, she granted, it's with double support. It's with Storm and Valkyrie support, but and, and then with Rogue's own lead. But but still, for any character to do that, even even with that, that amount of support, um, is still pretty, still pretty impressive for me. So, yeah, I have to give Rogue two, two thumbs up. She really surprised me, and I'm very happy with the rework. Um, that is for sure. Okay, and then above her, I have I have Mr. Sentry. Okay, and then Sentry, his survivability is a five as well. I mean, we all know just how good you know this guy, just how tanky he is, right? He's just super tanky. I do have a I do have a mighty energy on him, um, but still, I think even with a regular energy, you know, he could perform very very well for you. I know a lot of people probably haven't built for PvP, so. You know that that that's a thing that you know you're gonna have to make a decision on. I personally like mine for for PVE and especially you know for for Mr. Mephisto um, and his movement speed. I mean, I think Sentry has got to be like one of the fastest characters in the game, right? I can't think of anybody else that's 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 even faster. I don't know, maybe Blue Dragon's really fast. Who else is really fast? Let me know, G guys, in the comments. Tell me who you think the fastest character in the game is. I think Sentry's definitely up there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I love Sentry for Mephisto. He's just, I don't know. He, he's, he's a stud for me. He's been able to get it done. He solo stage 24 for me. That's the highest stage I could use him on other than, um, the leadership stages, which is 35 to 39. And he, and unfortunately he can't just, he can't do that. Not yet. Not where my conquer level is, but there aren't many characters that can solo, um, 24 for me with basically with no support, and no lead. So if I was able to give him, like, uh, he, he'd be able to clear the same stage Rogue, Rogue is clearing if, if he could play that stage with, with, the, same, with, with the same supports. Uh, um, that, that's for sure. Because, um, actually, I, when I tested him, Sentry cleared, um, cleared faster. Uh, I think I did, like, stage 14, and um, Sentry did it faster with less support because rogue had storm support valkyrie support and then sentry had um he had valkyrie support but was using his own lead so but he cleared it faster actually the time was rogue did it in uh at 404 and sentry did it at 410 so a little bit faster a little bit faster with with, with less support and then at number one ladies and gentlemen we have miss sharon rogers at number one Yes, dude, she is just, she is a powerhouse for Mephisto. That tier three just slaps him, dude, just slaps him. If not for Sharon Rogers, I would not be at stage 40 right now. 100% Sharon, 
No way, Jose. It just it just wouldn't happen. And I think by putting these H by by stacking her up with more HP, right? Changing some of her uniform options to HP, giving her these uh, these heal Odin's blessings. Um, I might even be able to get HP in other places. You know, probably if I I can give her like Hawk's Eye and uh, get you know rack up a little more HP there because I don't need the move or the attack speed or the ignore defense. So that's a thing you can do. What do I have there? Dodge. Um, but yeah, she, she's just, she's so good. I mean, we all know how good Sharon Rogers is and if played right, um, yeah, you just, you got, you got to, you got to play her right. You got to play her right. Her survivability isn't like, it's, it, it's really good, right? She, she sits in her third and she's got the heel on, on fifth. Um, you know, when she, when she, you know, um, throw, throws a spear up in the air. Um, I wish the heels for a little bit more, a little bit more, call me greedy, but I wish it was for a little bit more. Um, and her movement speed is... I don't know. Her movement speed might actually be a three, not a three, not a three, four. Um, yeah, you see some of them are like, I, I couldn't make up my mind. I couldn't make, make up my mind if there were a three or a four. So I'd, I'd, there, I kind of, kind of split the baby there. Um, but yeah, she's just, she, she's amazing. So if, if for some reason you don't have her, right, we have the tier three selector. She would be my number one choice. If I, if I didn't have any of the characters, Sharon Rogers would be my number one choice. She's just so good. Plus, um, you know, she could, she could work with uh, with an obelisk, right? With just like a regular proc. Yeah, I just think that characters that have accumulation based on damage received might have a little bit of an advantage against Mephisto just because, you know, he's always dealing damage and he deals a lot of it. So, you know, the, 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 you know, the 15% they have, right? Because it's typically 15%. The increase by percentage, you know, you, you know, it could change from character to character. Like Winter Soldier only has 4%. She has 15%. Most of them do have 15, but in any case, uh, Mephisto, typically, he's going to fill that 15% up every time, so you're, you're going to dish it back to him. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I really need to say any more about how good Sharon Rogers is. Everybody should know, and if you don't know, if you don't think she is as good, then you're probably not playing her right. You're probably not playing her right. I, I put a video out, I don't know, probably like a couple months ago at this point, or at least a month ago, a month and a half ago, um, on how to play Sharon Rogers properly. And if you haven't watched that, I, I, I suggest you go watch that. It's me playing Null. And there's kind of a system in, 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 in what you want to do when, when you play them. So there it is, guys. There it is. I know I know. there's going to be some people that disagree with my list. And they're, you know, they're going to talk about why Moonstone isn't on it. I told you why Moonstone's not on it. Um, and I will, I'm, I'll be updating this list. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this in my Discord, in my Discord uh, uh, channel. And so if you need to come and reference this, like I said, I'll be adding more things to this as well. Like, like, uh, like, you know, you, how you see survivability and movement speed there. I'll be adding like, like lead and, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what else, but, but I'm guessing some other stuff as well. I'll probably add to this. So, you know, it's kind of like a work in progress and obviously, you know, kind of swap the characters around. And then I want that. That's why I'm asking you. I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you guys in the comments. Let me know what stage you're clearing who you're clearing it with, what team you're using, and how much pierce you have on cards. You can even leave how much, you know, attack you have on cards as well. Um, and one thing I noticed that most of these characters are actually energy damage dealing characters. That, let's see, there's one, two, three. There's only three physical damage dealing characters. That's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, leave that for me guys. So this way, you know, I, I'll put, I'll make, I'll make separate li lists. I'll make a list for like, if you have, you know, a certain amount of pierce on cards and then I'll make another list, um, for, you know, if you don't have pierce on cards and then obviously some things can fluctuate and differ depending on, um, what CTP, you know, you're using on these characters. And I could also put that on the list. As, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll put that on the list as well. So I think that's going to be it guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so you better stay tuned. You stay breezy. But most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace. And keep in mind, we have, uh, we have Cap and Hulk coming. That, I think that, that's the next battle. Battle of the Beasts. Who's gonna win? Is the big guy gonna win? Oh boy, I don't know.